Good morning all. This is a little lithium cell which I uh, bought on eBay for about 55p. It was really cheap and that's because it was advertised on eBay Canada for 99 Canadian cents which is about 77 US cents, 55 British pence. So this is a, a small sort of half size lithium cell. It's called a CR 123A, it's a 16340, so it's 16 millimeters in diameter and 34 millimeters long approximately. But is it any good? Is it, for example, a thousand milliamp hours? So here's the item on eBay. Now, since I bought this, it's gone up in price. It's now priced at Canadian 206, that's $1.59, and that's about one pound and eight p um, there are some still available at a lower price if you look at these uh, options down here there's one at the end here for 87 us cents so uh, let's just go through this this is a new 3.7 volt 1000 milliamp hour cr123a 16 340 lithium ion rechargeable battery uh, it's now two dollars oh six free shipping and this came from heli shop 2015 so you can still get these for under a dollar, but uh, are they any good? Let's check some of the specs by putting it in this uh, battery charger. This is the Opus BTC100. And the first thing I'm going to do is an impedance test. That is a battery internal resistance check. So let's put it in the charger. Now it's not making a very good contact uh, because the contact is at a slight angle. So what I'm going to do is put a magnet in there just to extend that terminal out a bit. So I'm just going to stick a neodymium magnet on the negative terminal. That should make a better connection with the battery charger. And uh, the impedance check initially was 288 milliohms. Well, that's really quite high. Let's see if it does another one when that stops flashing. 260 milliohms. If I press and hold that, I can force it to do another one. Let's see if we can get it a little bit lower. 261 milliohms. So no, this cell has a relatively high internal resistance. Okay, so the next thing is to uh, do a charge test and see what um, milliamp hour result we get. So I've started the uh, charge test. This will charge the cell up. Then it will discharge it uh, down to just under three volts, I think, and take a milliamp hour reading, and then it will charge it back up to complete the, uh, the cycle. So I'm doing this at uh, 500 milliamps. That's a half C, C being a thousand milliamp hours, uh, notionally. So let's take a look at where we are at the moment. No milliamp hour reading at the moment because it's, it's doing the initial charge. We've got that um, internal resistance check at 258 milliohms. The cell is uh, almost at 4.2 volts, it's at 4.12 and we're charging at half an amp. So I'm going to leave this now uh, to do the full cycle and then we'll come back afterwards and see what the capacity of this cell is. Right, the discharge test is almost complete. Uh, the cell is now just being recharged again at the end of the cycle. Um, it's nearly done. It's at 4.17 volts. Uh, the current has dropped to 210 milliamps. And there's the result. That cell only had 288 milliamp hours of charge in it. It's marked as a thousand milliamp hours, but no, it only yielded 288 milliamp hours. Now I noticed when it was discharging that it was doing it at about 300 milliamps. It's possible we could make this number look a little bit better uh, by charging and discharging at a lower current, but uh, probably wouldn't get much more out of it. So that's pretty poor. This is cheap and nasty. So a 16340 lithium cell for about 50p. No, you get what you pay for. This one's rubbish. Uh, it's got an internal resistance of about quarter of an ohm. Well, that's very high and it only yields not much more than about a quarter of the rated 1,000 milliamp hours. Don't buy it. Cheerio.